Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Hourglass. Welcome if you are new. I hope you guys are doing great today. Thank you guys for all the likes, the subscriptions, the subscribers, everything. I'm like overwhelmed over here checking you guys out. Anyway, peace to you and those you love. So we're going to do some channel messages today. It's open to all signs and I do hope or I do strive to bring you some type of general insight or confirmation in whatever situation that you may be going through at this time. So uh, some of you are getting a uh, contact out of the blue from someone that um, you thought forgot about you or things just grew really icy with this person and it's like, now what? Now what? What's where, where you guys gonna go from here? So my camera is clicking. I don't know if it's um trying to refocus or focus in right now because of the flames. But we're about to get into it. We're gonna see what's the buzzing chakra between the both of you. This could resonate with you, with this person, or both parties involved. All right. So let's get into it. I definitely pick up um through my channel messages here uh, somebody has gotten some type of enlightenment yeah <laughs> and it caused a lot of disappointments you know enlightenment is the ego's disappointments so I feel like they're disappointed in a lot of things that they believed in uh, that they built their life around uh, some of you um, if the page of swords come out someone may be wanting to ask you some questions or they just need a little bit of insight or confirmation to give themselves closure. It's like somebody's trying to connect the dots here with you. So, you know, maybe you gave up stressing or obsessing over this person and now it's like they're coming into your energy. You could actually pick up this person on your radar. Yeah, this person wants to talk to you. They want to be honest about something. Hey, take responsibility. Okay. <laughs> I know you guys probably hear that. Take responsibility could be dealing with someone that has a very ferocious attitude of a cowardly lion or a worried lion hair could be a Leo doesn't have to be a Leo they could have placements in their Leo like the moon uh, their rising or Venus all right so take it how it resonates you guys that's coming out pretty strong this person may want some type of uh, um, Okay, so we have relationships. I was going to say they want some type of balance with you, but relationships came up. So this person is definitely, their buzzing chakra is the sacral chakra. So they may be feeling a little turned on right now. They may be feeling really good. We're in this Leo season. Happy birthday to all Leos. Um, I see you. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday to all you Leos out there. So a lot of that Leo season energy is bubbling up. You guys, we're feeling really good. The sun really feels great. We want to get out there. We want to show off our asses, our tits, our body. We've been working on whatever. Do your thing. Take the lead. The stage is open for y'all. Right. So uh, again, with this Leo season, we do have this Leo child, that inner child wanting to come out uh, with new ideas as well. Could possibly do surrounded with this relationship. Maybe in the past you guys had something going on, but it didn't get anywhere. And now this person really wants to um, initiate. I feel like there's like a rush. I feel like very anxious. No, not anxious, but very excited about some things that this person may have experienced. Uh, accepted so maybe you freed this person when you finally like um, tossed in the towel and we have sound so the sound card has been uh, rotating heavily here on the hourglass and I definitely pick up that this person could be listening to a lot of music and they're reminiscing or they're romancing some type of memory or they have some type of excitement for the future for the both of you. So maybe in the past you wanted a relationship and you felt like you maybe have been wasting your time. You may have decided to give this person some space and it actually gave this person the freedom they needed to go out and see what they wanted. Now, I feel like the vibe, there's a vibration between the both of you, even in silence, in silence and in sound is what I always get with this card. So. This person may be listening to a lot of music. Maybe you have a playlist that this person secretly goes on to really stay connected with you. 
or they reminisce or they go back to songs that they shared with you in the past to stay connected. This person is really, um, they make it a habit to stay connected to you, but indirectly. We have the number nine at the top of this card as well. Some of you, your numbers may be nine or six, six or nine. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> Something came in my mind and then it washed right out. But anyway, clarity with the nines. Uh, they're at a turning point where they're coming to end a cycle with themselves and they're hoping. I feel like they're hoping. There's a lot of hope that's been going on uh, this week for a lot of you. So we're going to get some more. Oh, this per I heard this person wants to serenade you. What? This person may be old school. You, you, you have an old school person? Yeah. In silence and sound, this person, it's like you own the rhythm of their heart or every time they hear music or they see something about you or a smile, their rhythm, their heartbeat speeds up. Oh my God, they're hungry. Ah, uh, they're hungry in the sacral chakra. They're hungry for some type of advancement. You may be a person that gave this person some type of power or fame, or they felt like a million bucks messing with you. It's like you put them up on a cloud nine and they're hungry for that. They hung. It's like, I don't know, for some of you, this person may uh, try to relapse. They want to send you a message, you guys. Listen, they already know what they want to tell you. This person has a game plan on how they're going to drop some, some information to you or get some information out of you. Yeah, dedication. Hmm. This person may be very judgmental or they have like a final decision. Maybe they were contemplating for a very long time. This person could have even had issues with the laws or they were going through some type of court case or civil court, family court. I heard family court. They need to sort out some things on their end that you may not have may or may not have known about so it's like they have this extra time or things seems to be running a little smooth maybe things were a little turbulent uh when you wanted a relationship or you wanted something from this person we have gift so this person may know that you have a gift maybe you're really sensitive maybe you're sensitive like me <laughs> Even though people like to say I'm a seer or this and that, I feel like I'm just really sensitive to the energy and the frequency that's around me. And a lot of you that's on this channel, on this community, you have that ability to pick up on the changes, whether it's in the whether it's in the weather <laughs> or, you know, you have you have your radars, your spider senses is really sensitive. So you could pick up when somebody's coming into you or thinking about you. Maybe you have like this ability to call this person through the universe. I also been picking up a lot of dragon and phoenix energy a lot lately. So that's the yin and the yang, you guys. Let's see who this person is. Who is this person wanting to talk relationship talk? Oh, okay. So somebody may somebody that may have achieved something really great in their life. Now it may be small to you, or it may be something that was long time coming. But for this person, they feel really good from whatever this achievement was. Wow, it's like things are really moving for this person right now. It's like maybe in the past they had a lot of brain fog. They couldn't see where they were going or where they wanted to go in life. And now it's like, and now it's like they're on a path of achievement or they feel like they're a winner here. This to me talks about the most high divine uh, speaking to someone about not giving up. Because whatever ideas or thoughts or vibrations, whatever messages has been coming through song lyrics, the Most High Divine is saying, don't give up. It's not in vain. For some of you, you may be writing songs, love songs about relationships or relationships that really had an impact in your life. And the Most High Divine is saying, don't give up. Some of your songwriters, uh, uh, authors, uh, some of you ghost write as well, or you really have these inspirational words. You're really good with words. You're like a, a lyrical master or a lyrical 
genius. So you take that how it resonates. But it feels like this person now wants to fill in the gap or they want to have some type of unity. They want to be in your life. Now, if this is a new person, this person recently was rewarded for some type of hard work that they were doing. I feel like they have surrendered to some type of uh, vibe, some type of vibration. Maybe this person practices uh, holistic remedies or holistic ways of breathing and calming the nerves. Hey, this is also the throat chakra, you guys. So with the throat chakra, it talks about I speak stimulates the desire for knowledge or truth or understanding so this person wants to talk to you they want to ask questions or they're curious or they have some type of endless ideas that they want to get you in on could possibly be due with relationship new ideas coming in about uh response being responsible in relationships as well expectations yeah so some of you had an expectation about this person and the relationship and maybe it did not uh happen the way you wanted to or you lost patience but i could see i could still see her that some of you still have it in the back of your mind but you have let go of controlling how it moves and how fast it moves or even how you show up in this person's life listen you guys nobody's perfect we all are humans and sometimes we try to project our own control on people because we feel like we know what's best or we feel like our love for this person is so great that you know um you feel like your way of seeing things is the right or the best way but you have to remember being in a relationship is team effort hey so you have to respect this person and where they are in life um because at most of the time the people that we are attracted to Sometimes we're there to help elevate this person. Sometimes we get in relationships and we feel like it's a parenting relationship as well. And that's, again, telling you to redirect the energy back to yourself. This person needs to grow up a little bit more or mature a little bit more. So if this is someone that came back in out of the blue, they still have a little bit maturing to do. And they may need to ask you some questions or get some things straight, connecting the dots so they could keep moving. In, all right their growth or their next step or turn in the leaf the next timeline is somehow associated with you so you yourself may be some type of master or spiritual teacher to this person they look at you that way so we're going to see how they're feeling about you they're a little confused still yeah they need you to, to straighten up some things here or maybe you have a way of looking at things in a different perspective and they really need that help now ultimately the choice is yours all right so we have master numbers 33 and that talks about being in the christ light conscious so some of you are definitely tapped into your higher self and this person knows that or this is you having more enlightenment um having more uh information on how to be responsible in a relationship so therefore if people come in your life all of a sudden because you're achieving a lot as well because you may be the one that's achieving a lot having more possibilities and opportunities being attracted to you and this person may be catching that eye and wanting to come back or is somebody that's uh watching you from afar this may be an admirer as well and they want to get into it because they feel like you have some type of answer or you or uh your insights is so different and so realistic uh, and this is something that they need, something different from what they're doing. So with the 33, it's the ability to manifest. Your creativity or the, the ability to create is very heightened at this time. And a lot of people are seeing that. They're gravitating to you. So you're probably in your Christ-like consciousness. You know your higher self, right? So let's see how they really feel about you. Some of you may be at the ages of 25, to 43 but let me tell you this person is maturing but again they feel like the next level is somehow connected to you you may be a relationship guru as well you uh, may be a libra or you may be a scorpio with or libra with scorpio or you may be a capricorn that has scorpio or that may be um that may be some type of combination that's going on here 
Okay, so I heard Virgo involved as well. So this person may be very detail oriented. This may be a fire sign Leo. We saw that with the lion, but it could also mean Leo season. This is actually current energy. Oh, and it could also be a cancer. So these are energies that you're attracting that's looking for long-term relationships or they're looking for business relationships. It could go either or, you guys. But somebody's very hungry for power, for fame, authority, for taking control in their life as well. So let's clear this again. Yeah, they're very curious about you. Wow. So how is this person that's coming through this spread feeling about my viewer this weekend? So let's call this a weekend forecast. Yeah, they're still very confused about you. They're probably confused about how the heck are you getting all these achievements? How are you doing it, babe? <laughs> they are puzzled and they feel like you're a missing piece in their puzzle as well in their life. You got them bazzity, huh? Yeah, you bring out the vulnerability in this person. Mm -mm -mm hopeless all right so this you may feel hopeless about this thing but i'm feeling like this person feels receptive and they feel very grateful they feel encouraged so this person is on a different we have receptive i saw that so they're grateful they're feeling encouraged but you may be the one that's feeling hopeless like shit already sank for you on this person the ship has already sailed some type of storm or some type of struggle happened between the both of you and you was like you know what you showed me your true asses, so guess what? No, I heard you made it really obvious that I was wasting my time. So you may have bounced and kind of redirect your focus or your energy elsewhere, but in the back of your mind, you still think about what if this relationship was um, had in more commitment is what I'm seeing. Somebody wants to get married, hey, like somebody's not playing. Somebody's saying, hey, you know what? I know what I bring to the table and I deserve myself a husband or a wife. You, you better get that. <laughs> oh, wow. Somebody's feeling like, no, this is not going to work. You're not going to. It's like you're not wanting this person to, to uh, get aboard your ship because some of you may have um, anxiety or even doubts that this person is going to uh, help out or pull their own weight. For some of you, you feel like this person already sabotaged whatever you guys possibly had. There's a storm brewing, actually. So this person, I don't know if this person is brewing up ideas or they're brewing to uh do something hey some of you may be very guarded against this person and you have like ammunition or things that you want to say if they ever you, you wish they would <laughs> you wish they would all right but we have hopeless and we have helpless so this person may be feeling helplessly drawn to you as well and this makes them very vulnerable yeah there was a tower moment hey or there was exposure so this person showed their asses we have the Ten of Wands. Hmm. This person is determined or they feel like they have been going around in circles or whatever they have been picking up along the way. They feel like it pushed them away from whatever expectations you had for them and this, um, this relationship. If this was not a relationship, it was in the talking phases and you had expectations or standards for yourself and somebody did not meet it. It's like... A battleship sank like this person tank your battleship because it feels like a battle hey it feels like somebody defeated someone here like somebody loosed the cannons there was a big tower moment tower moment and somebody's ship sank like somebody was aiming to sabotage this thing so ah uh, this person made it obviously clear like they didn't have time or they made it obviously they made it obvious that they you are wasting your time that's what it feels like, hey, you guys. Yeah, this person wants to unite with you, all right? This person wants to, uh, and it feels like futuristic energy as well. So they may be planning to somehow um, come and visit you or they're visiting your state and they're wondering if you guys could like uh, make arrangements, hey? We have the universe coming out here. So there's definitely a new start. 
We have the king of pentacles. So you may have been dealing with somebody that was really caught up in fame and fortune and power and money. And I feel like they still are. And this is why we have the 10 of wands showing because they have so many different outlets or so many different things that they want to do to generate money. But it's a lot of responsibility that they're taking on. But they somehow want to work in this relationship. And you may be feeling like this is not going to work. All right. They may be feeling like you yourself is getting opportunities and possibilities, options from all different areas in your in your life. And they're kind of like. Bazzity about how you are doing this. But they're not seeing that you're actually being vulnerable or surrendering to the ethers head because we have vulnerable and we see these guys in the back hand kneeling. So you may be very open and flexible to the ether so you may have a lot of trust in the ethers versus this person that feels like they want to control or have authority in their life so they may be feeling like they can't wait on the ethers or what the most high divine uh have to install for them this person may be a little bit guarded to uh different ideas as well but it's like they have these ideas but they may be guarded to other ideas this person may um try to live like they're majestic or they're on top of the world on top of the ball head with the king of pentacles this person may drive a light colored car maybe very sportsy or it has a lot of horsepower i'm hearing a charger oh you guys somebody likes to dance there's music and dance in hand what is going on you guys hooking up in the club Wow, this is very festive energy. So you may want make this person feel alive and want to dance. You know what I'm saying? Could be a fixed person as well. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. They may have placements like that in their chart. Even though they may feel very realistic and very practical, I feel like they rationalize a lot of um, higher power uh situations or things so this person likes to stay grounded they don't believe in like i mean they believe in the most high divine but they don't tr they don't put all of their uh it's hard for them to trust and let things unfold it's like they always feel like they have to do something here it's like they always feel like they have to prove themselves that they're ahead doing it and getting it somewhere. So we have the two of swords energy you could be dealing with a Libra. Doesn't have to be, but it feels like the energy of fickleness here. This person is still very guarded. We see the shield here and then we have the shield in the uh, traditional rider with is the lady sitting down with the two swords crossing the chest area. So this person is still very guarded because they don't like being vulnerable. It feels very uncomfortable and they take that uncomfortableness as negative. All right. And this is what's confusing this person because they're watching you let it go. All right. And they can't seem to understand it. Maybe they're trying to ask you questions and how did you get to that level of surrendering, of doing your best and letting it go. All right. And I think that that's what it is. This person tries to overdo it. So this person could be a little bit wounded. They have a little bit of wounded masculine energy. Time is an issue. They may be looking at other people around them and comparing themselves. And this is causing them to be very anxious or stressed out easily. With the two of swords, that could talk about anxieties. And it's so much anxiety, overwhelm of anxiety and vulnerability, impatientness, that they cram up. They get really guarded and they block a lot of good stuff that's come to them. Or they cut off a lot of good stuff because the, in, in, the inability to wait to have patience. So this may be a person that quits jobs as well, being that we have high honors. There may be somebody that quits a lot of job that has a lot of guidelines or when they get bored of something, they quit right away with the two of swords energy is what I'm picking up. Okay. So they may also want some type of truth with you. If this is a new person, this person may feel like working with you is it's very helpful. Maybe you have a lot of good ideas or this person have a lot of fresh ideas. But with the two of swords, it could talk about having tough decisions to make and this person may need your help. I keep feeling like they need your help or they're going to question you about some things and this is going to help them make some very tough decisions. 
this person may have a lot of oppositions because I'm feeling like they're ready to go to war here or they're ready to go to war about this relationship, about you. Yeah, I'm ready to go to war about you is what I heard. Uh, so, you know, block emotions here. This person may be uh, unable to see the truth about what they have to do. So it's almost like they're going to confirm something with you if you answer uh, the questions that they're already getting intuitively. It's a lot of indecisions here. They may feel exposed or they may feel like they're going to have to expose themselves with some truth as well. So the storm feel like it's going to come. So be prepared uh, that this person tell you some type of truth. Maybe uh, they made a lot of foolish moves in the past. This person didn't want things to end with you. So if this is if this is fairly new and you guys like stop talking or grew kind of like icy, this person was having a hard time uh, with knowledge and truth about themselves. Hey, with the fool card, this person could be a free spirit or they are just very rebellious with the Uranus energy coming out here. This person caused a lot of conflict and tension with uh, their rebellious energy or their rebel energy, free spirited, going against the grain or the rules. For some of you, this person is in health care or there's something they feel is maybe they have like <laughs> maybe they feel somewhere about their private parts as well because we have the sacral chakra that has a lot to do with um your reproductive system so maybe someone here um that I don't I'm getting the ejaculate really quickly you guys don't don't come rushing at me in my comments it's just what's going through they may be very conscientious about uh, stamina or uh, be able to last so long because they're really turned on by your body I mean something about taking it from behind it's like when they see you you have like this breathtaking beauty is like they get all clumsy and shit be falling and then it's like when they get to you or when they talk to you they they kind of blocked out their emotions and try to act real practical so they rationalize out the emotions so they could think clearly <laughs> this person is really attracted to you if this is same sex shit i feel like this person may have uh be attracted to you and that's very like it makes them very uncomfortable so if this was a straight person and they feel very attracted to you they try to fight that shit off all right i didn't see what that was i feel like this person took a lot of risk in life as well you know when i was pre-shuffling i saw uh temperance and the hangman's energy this person is ready to come out of stagnation and a stalemate energy i feel like they alchemize or they learn how to blend or create something it's like they transmuted some type of energy so it could be this confusion or this shyness this vulnerability they transmuted some type of old energy or they redirected some type of old energy. Now it's like they want to like, it's almost like they feel like they're going to beg you for a new uh, thrill or a new adventure here. But they know your expectations. And this is why I feel like there's some guard in this here or there's like not getting in too deep. So this may be very superficial. So beware that this person is not keeping things superficial because they're not wanting to give a relationship or they feel like, uh, giving you your expectations is a tough decision with what's going on in their life with the Ten of Wands energy. So uh, for some of you that don't want to attract people that already have too many things going on, this may not be the person for you at this time. Because they're still trying to get to this King of Pentacles status where they could be a provider. They could be someone of uh, reliable. They want to be more reliable but they may have a lot of responsibility. We have another card of defeat. So what I'm picking up here is they may be defeated in their beliefs and in the ability to um, 
I heard stay present in a relationship. So this person may have gotten their heart broken way before they met you. And this is what they were building their life around this ego, this belief. And I feel like they're very disappointed in themselves that they may have kind of like uh, took a lot of risk and um, closed out a situation here because I'm feeling like somebody gave themselves closure and decided to throw in the towel, got impatient with this person because they were like wilding here or they were just off doing a lot of other things, possibly with a lot of other people and that shit may have crumbled. Now we see here the Ten of Swords. Uh, the dust has settled, but remember it's to the bottom. Dust settles to the bottom. So this person may have had a lot of tower moments, a lot of exposure to their own lies, and now they have hit rock bottom, this king of pentacles. So they may be putting on a facade for you that things are all dandy. My money's still long. My money's still growing. Okay, sir. Okay, lady. <laughs> Two of swords energy. So they don't want to look like they're doing uh, awful. And then we have the queen of Pentacles. So we have carnal parts here. So this person, and we have the Empress talking about new beginnings, giving you what you need to flourish. I feel like this person wants to create an atmosphere or vibe uh, to make you feel comfortable to be in your Empress energy, whether you're a male or a man. They want you to uh, nurture the situation, nurture the relationship or the connection you guys may have, whatever label you want to give it. Some of you seem to believe it's an attachment, but it's whatever you want to give it, you know, whatever you feel uh, it's, it's appropriate. All right. So I feel like this person wants to work with you. Like they feel like you guys are going to be great service to each other, but with the two of swords and the 10 of swords being in the middle of you guys, both of you feels really defeated and both of you is really guarded. Hey, all right. I feel like, um, you may be, what is that? You may be really hands-on in your life, like cultivating. That's what I'm saying. You have a lot of possibilities, a lot of shit going great for you, achievements possibly. People are recognizing you. And it's like they're trying to figure out how are you doing this? But they're very guarded. You may have... Um, you may be really secure and safe in yourself with the queen of pentacles energy. I'm getting a lot of base or root chakra. Some of you are tapping into your ancestral wisdom. You're, you're like breaking chains, healing a lot of ancestral karma. And this is why things are happening for you because you're doing the work. So the ethers is actually uh, rewarding you. You know, you have like this alive energy as well. And this person, again, may have hit rock bottom. You may have hit rock bottom with this person because of half lies or half, half lies, half truth. Hey, all right. So you may be, you know, working with all the elements. We have alcohol and drugs involved. So this person, what was that? So this person may be into like the fast life or they're just around a lot of people that are partying, you know, shits and giggles, shooting the, the low life um, type of energy. So again, they may be looking for a partner or a relationship to help them get up into this king of pentacles energy. And you guys are vibrating on that same energy. So uh, you taking care of your shit, this person may be taking care of their shit in their own way, but there's truth that needs to be spoken about him. The both of you really need to be really honest to balance out this defeat type of energy. I feel like the worst has passed in that old cycle, but when we say there's a new beginning, that does not necessarily mean that it's going to be all peaches and cream. Sometimes the new beginning starts off with a storm that cancels out or cleanses out any type of bad blood or bad energy, heavy energy with the Ten of Swords. Are you prepared? Can you handle it? If I go there with you, what is that, Usher? You better talk to them. They feel like you're very... uh. <laughs> you're very abundant, but bountiful as well. So you're constantly changing and they admire that for somebody that's very fixed. Hey, you may be very open. Wow. We have Virgo Taurus Capricorn with a lot of air. So, you know, you guys feel like, uh, there's a lot of denial. Some of you feel like love is blind. Hey, some of you, this person betrayed you too many times, but I'm seeing here that you hurt them as well. And this is why they are guarded. 
but I feel like they are wanting to exp they know that they have to come to you with the truth and this may be something that they're guarded so be careful this person is just not telling you half truth hey I feel like in the past you couldn't speak to this person it was like arguments or heated debates that went nowhere it was both of you are very stubborn here as well but you got uh you overcame a lot of obstacles hey and this person they whatever they had going on when you were in their midst or when things were great i feel like it's now barren as well we have the empress card uh empress may be libra or taurus energy um what i'm seeing with the empress is you're very open-minded or this person is really trying to be excuse me open-minded hey there's a lot of healing. You have like this healing energy that this person needs, a support, possibly emotional support. It's like flow, things flow when you're with this person or when you guys are like working together. But the both of you are vibrating on the same type of energy. This person may want to call truth, truth with you, and they want to like get out of this Ten of Swords energy. Like they want to move past that now. They may be very obsessed with your physical appearance, whoever you are. They're obsessed with the way how you uh, bring your services and you help people while helping yourself. So you may have uh, good um, compromising skills. I feel like someone here gets really uneasy around crowds. <laughs> so you may be an introvert, but you're an extrovert around the right people type of vibes. So I feel like they're trying to create that type of energy for you by trying to be really like free spirited you may be a good mother or a good father as well or you they see you as a good parent they want to make you a good parent because the empress and the queen of pentacles is usually pregnant so i don't know if you're pregnant with this person's baby or they want to know if you're pregnant or you you're pregnant with a lot of fresh ideas fresh perspective that motivates this person they see a life of luxury with you. Maybe an awesome homemaker. Or you really good at um, interior. You make a home. In, you make a house into a home type of vibe too as well. But you put your foot down with the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. Hello, don't don't cross that line. You see the Queen of Pentacles with her with her um, what is this? Her scepter. What is that? Anyway, she draws the line. Like hello, <laughs> you think you're gonna betray me again? You off your, your, what? Your wonkers? You're out your rabbit ass mind. So you may be a very mature business person, a business woman. If you're a man that's watching and you resonate with the queen of pentacles, they see you as an awesome business person, very intellectual. You may have good customer service. You may speak really well to people where they understand. And this is what this person needs. So be careful. Uh, this person doesn't come back out of the blue. If that's the situation, give what you can out of your heart, but don't give where you feel like this person has undermined you or took some type of power from you so give from your heart because if it's not from your heart it's business all right so if you feel like you you want to be paid tell this person that you want to be paid for your fucking guidance or your insights or the way are you paying me sir hello the both of you about your money the both of you about your business right so uh, the fool is keep jumping out at me. So I don't know if this person was reckless in the past and it caused a lot of confusing in situation where it kept you stuck, it kept this person stuck as well, but they thought that they were winning here. So they may have some mental health issues going on here. We have social media connections. So the both of you may connect a lot on social media. So there's a lot of things that are hidden or you're blind to same ways for this person. So maybe this is why they're guarded because they don't know what's going on over in your ends so even if it has a lot of feelings here you make this person vulnerable so if you didn't have any type of impact on them they would never be feeling this way right they would be feeling like listen i could do what the fuck i want but they know they have to keep in line here because of the betrayals in the past for some of you, this could feel like a friendship or a siblings. This could be your mom and the both of your siblings. And this person is just fucking reckless. They betrayed you too many times, probably stole from you, never repaid you. And it's like you're doing your thing and they're trying to get back on board with your business. Again, it could be siblings or a brother-in-law, a sister-in-law. 
that's you know joined through marriage we have friendships so this person may want to come in break the ice as friends energy block you're blocking your person we see that with the two of swords this person makes things very complicated and it's like you know what i done been there done that i'm i've, I've been defeated i got up i uh i nursed myself back to health i overcome the bullshit i'm out here ripping shit we have quit next level likes you romantically new path career so like i said this person feels some type of way you put them in their fields and this is why they feel vulnerable because they know they can't play no fucking games they gotta watch their mouth we have new path new career path this person wants to work with you they want to be up on your level so they may be pretending and that's the thing i don't fuck with people that pretend like they got it going on because the minute when we have to do like real transactions the motherfuckers dip. They ghost. You can't get in contact with them. All of a sudden now, uh, things ain't working. I can't. So let this person prove themselves to you. All right? There's a storm here in this new beginning. So just because it says new beginning does not mean it's going to be all hunky-dory. It could also mean it's going to be really like, um, it's going to be a struggle before it gets good for some of you but money seems to be on this person's mind money seems to be on your mind relationships seems to be the back of the both of you guys' mind so i don't know if you guys really need to talk about that or you know when the time presents itself like really ask this person like what's up we have new lifestyle and money matter this person is all about fame and power and money it's not over huh this person might be just now recognizing that with you they could have it all but listen, honey, you may be a little too late. For some of you, this person is too late. They cause, it's like you had to endure too much. And it's like, maybe you never missed the water till the well runs dry. Look at you and your empress energy sitting there. You sitting there. This person is like all over the place, trying to do shit, trying to network with people. And it's just not working out. But again, they have to step up. They have to get in line. And I'm sure that they're hearing messages like that in songs. So whatever music they're listening to or whatever playlist they're secretly listening to that belongs to you, it's telling this person guidelines, all right? Very stubborn energy. This person does not like to change or change is very difficult for this person. We have history. So for some of you, you this is a past person. This is an ex that's wanting to come back to you. They, somehow they feel like the window is still available to them. The door is still open to them. Maybe you left the door creaking open so they see the light. So they're trying to stick their finger in. <laughs> fingers in oh no so we have it's taking longer than i thought it would so then maybe you thought they thought that you would have returned and they got confused when you didn't maybe you have a unhealthy habit of coming back to this person checking on this person could have been friends with benefits yeah addictions they're heavily addicted to your body so if you guys been intimate we have sex yeah <laughs> this person wants your attention this person may be attention seeker too and they're starting to see that they're not all of that and a bag of chips now that they don't have you because there was a tower moment this could have been a divorce or you guys spiritually divorced <laughs> you know that kind of way you like cut the cord like and uh, so the ship sank we have can we start over a clean slate the silence is killing me so this person is done suffering they're done suffering they're done thinking about suffering they possibly want to know because we have hopeless twice so this person feels like it's hopeless or you feel like it's hopeless being that it was a lot of suffering and burdens in this relationship ten of swords ten of wands energy but this person's still optimistic that this could go somewhere i don't know what to do so they're kind of like fishing here they may be dipping their toe they're testing the waters with you by wanting to speak up with the throat chakra they may even talk about relationships like ask you certain questions just to open you up but they have a lot of fear because of the mistakes that they make so we have holiday i feel like this person's birthday or holiday they may want to talk to you or see you what more channel messages for my viewer 
This person may be addicted to people that drink, uh, that do drugs. They see that as fast money, so they may be just fucking with people of that caliber just to get quick money. That's for some of you. It's not going to be with all of you. Some of you, this person has a very uh, high-quality job, and uh, they're very scattered, or they want to just leave when they want to or when the opportunity arises. Hey, this person could travel for work, or they thinking about coming towards you, driving towards you, or they're hoping that you see some type of uh, traveling uh, picture going on. Yeah, somebody cut the cord. Hey. It was a breakout. You, this person burnt you out with the, four, the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands energy. I don't see the light. Yeah, that's that King of Pentacles energy. <laughs> they didn't see the light before because they were so lazy. Denial, uh, loss. We have a lot of lost energy. So even when they were with you, they were denying a lot of things. It says, I never knew what love meant until I lost you. Every time I close my eyes, I see you. It's hard to move on. <laughs> of course, if you sit in this Empress Pentacle, Queen of Pentacles energy, you may have helped this person get money loan this person money if you didn't give this person money you gave them a lot of brilliant ideas that generated money you had this person on cloud nine they may have run off with um losers or basic ass people mediocre people and lost their um lost their oomph when they lost you so i could see why you cut this person off and it's a good thing that you did because this person now knows that they have to walk a straight fucking line my life took a turn for the worse. I don't want you to see me this low on answered text. So this person may pick and choose what they answer uh, you about. So that's what I'm saying. Half truth. Hey? It may sound selfish. Uh, but I want both of you. And this could be both worlds. Some of you, this is a third party relation. It could be a romantic person. It could be people literally that's always tugging on this person's energy to make money, to do a lot of risky shit with the fool energy. So that could be a, the third party relation. They just caught up in the wrong crowd. All right. So take it how it resonates. Spell work. All right. You're, be you're a beautiful soul. I just don't think I can make you happy. Friend zone, different out outlooks, unavailable. We had the friendship card. So this person is not where they need to be. Investments. Yeah. They want to help or they want you to invest in them, whether it's more knowledge or education, a friendship relationship, uh, caress. We did see that already. Um, and eventually they want a relationship. But right now, this person feels hopeless that they could even give you your expectations. So we have spell work. I don't know if you're doing a lot of spell work. They're doing candle magic. Whatever it is, somebody's doing spell work to control the situation. Hey, And be careful of your intention or your intent when you're messing with spells. All right? Every day we cast spells, you guys. We read. We say affirmations. Those are all spell work. But it's the intention. Is it for evilness? If it's, if it's, is it for selfishness? Is it for controlling purposes? Because guess what? It's going to have a boomerang effect on you, honey. And maybe it had a boomerang effect on this person. Maybe this person tried to work some type of spell on you. Could be with lies. Could be trying to pull the wool over your eyes. That is a sort of dark magic for me as well. And yeah, so let's see out of a bag of tricks, what is up? What is up? Let's see. So we have letters, we have places, uh, we also have uh, tea bag wisdom, and we also have fortune cookie messages. So we have forgiveness is an act of consciousness. We are, we are made to persist. That's how we find out who we are. The problem of today will be buried uh, by the sands of time. All right. So I hope you guys did enjoy this read. If you did, go and big up yourself in the comment box below. Uh, thank you guys for your spiritual, your, grat your gratitude, generous tips to the free readings here on the Hourglass channel. Deeply, greatly appreciated, you guys. See you guys on the next channel messages. Up next, we're going to have... What are their sexual naughty thoughts about you this weekend? So it's going to be a weekend forecast about what your person is like lusting over about. All right. So when it comes to you. So chat to you guys later. Ciao.